Hey guys, check it out. I'm super excited to be receiving my raised beds. I'm even more excited to finally be building them. My husband's going to be helping me, but I want to show you what's in the box. Basically, this rubber band is going to go around the raised bed, the screws, and the actual structure of the raised bed. As you can see, there's six different ways that you can build this raised bed. I decided to start with this, with this shape to see if it would fit well where I wanted it to be. Now while I was building it, as you can see that I'm putting on the screws, I was actually putting them on wrong the whole entire time and did not realize until I was almost done. So I had to take every single screw off and put it the right way. As you can see right now, the screws and the butterflies sticking out, which they shouldn't be. Those, that part should be inside the race bed. So I went ahead and fixed it all and I'll show you right now the right way they should be going. Once I moved the screws the way they were meant to be, as you can see right here, I moved in the right way. I was very glad that was done. So I went ahead and moved the raised bed where I wanted it to be. This raised bed is not heavy at all. So I put it down just to see how well it's going to fit. And I realized that I wasn't happy with the way that it fit in this section. So thankfully I purchased two of them and I went back and built the other one so it could fit this area a lot better. For now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the second raised bed, but I'm going to start planning in my first raised bed, the one. Let me go ahead and show you. Hey guys, I'm a complete mess right now. I am trying to get my raised beds in. As you guys can see, I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to be adding the soil. That way I can um, fill it up. I do need to leave some space for some plants that my husband and I have here. So therefore, for now I'm going to start with one raised bed. And I'm going to figure out where I want this one. I couldn't believe how much potting soil this raised bed took. I added one after another, a total of six, and it wasn't getting filled. So I did have to go purchase another one. What I did is I added a layer of worm castings and I just sprinkled it all over. That way it can be a nice layer of worm castings before I add another soil. I also water it so it can get compacted and I can see how much soil I was going to need. So I went ahead and purchased some more. Once I realized how much soil I was going to need, I went to Home Depot and purchased another bag. And I was hoping that this was going to be enough. However, I had a bag to plan. I did purchase two. Once I added this one, I realized it was going to be enough. So I was very happy with that. I also bought some tomato plants that were already grown because I'm really far back in the game. I do not, I do not have time to actually start my plants from seedlings. So I went ahead and purchased these. So today, I went to pick up some cucumber seedlings and some different varieties of um, tomatoes. This is the pink brand wine heirloom tomato. And then this one over here is the Cherokee purple heirloom tomato. And since I'm a little behind on planning, I'm going to, I went ahead and purchased these and I'm gonna plant them in here. Um, just got my raised beds, it's the beginning of June, I'm behind, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to plant this year. So I'm just going to do what I can and start with tomatoes. Now I'm going to do the fun part, I'm going to get my plants inside my raised bed. I'm really excited that I'm going to have tons of tomatoes this year. I went ahead and put my cucumber along the fence because I'm going to add a trellis to help it climb. With the trellis, I'm going to put it between the fence and my raised bed. As you can see, I'm adding it right here. So I'm very excited that it fit perfectly. I also added some wood chips around the plant to help retain some moisture because it is starting to get really hot and I want to make sure that these plants are set for success. Guys, you guys know this is a new chapter in Gardens Love 
life and I want to ask for your advice. What do you guys suggest I should go purchase to add to the front of the race but I still have plenty of space. I'm not sure what I could be growing in the month of June and July, August. Um, so please give me some, leave some comments and let me know what you guys suggest. I would appreciate it and looking forward to reading all the comments. I really want to maximize the space and grow as much as I can. So please help me out and um, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this video. I'm having a lot of fun making it and I am super excited to finally get some tomatoes and some um, cucumbers and some other fun things inside this race bed. Super excited to have these amazing tomatoes in my race bed. Now that everything's installed, let me show you how everything looks. I am in love. It fit perfect in the section I had to grow stuff. I am so happy with the results. Now I did get really excited and started watering my plants right in the middle of the day when the sun was out and bright. I should have waited till the afternoon to prevent my plants from getting burnt from the sun and the water. Just a tip for future reference. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had an amazing time making it. Please don't hesitate to leave some comments down below and I look forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you guys all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.